guys. Welcome back to D Diets. Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and make sure you ring the notification bell so you know when I put another video out today. Today we're going to make something that's really, really delicious. I did say it in a previous video, I think yesterday. Uh, although I did two of these videos in the same day, you might see me in the same outfit. But I'm making a low-carb Italian stuffed meatball. It's a surprise. It's a little surprise. But I love meatballs. I'm sure everybody has their own recipe. But I'm going to show you my recipe for Italian meatballs. Oh, and they're so, so good. So sit back and enjoy my version of a low-carb Italian meatball. Okay, so first we're going to start out with some really good ground sirloin. I went to the butcher yesterday and I picked up some ground sirloin. I do buy it in bulk. It's a great price and it's a pound, maybe a pound and a half, okay? It's a pound and a half of ground sirloin. The next thing I'm going to take is a pound of sausage, okay, out of the casing, or you can buy it loose. Some, a lot of stores have it loose, and you can just stick that in there as well. My goodness, it's gonna be delicious. Okay, let me just push that in the sink. Then we're gonna take some eggs. I'm going to take two eggs. I crack them individually in a uh, bowl, because sometimes an egg can be bad. So I never ever crack them inside the a meat mixture because I just want to check to make sure the egg is okay. And I'm going to put that in. You can lightly whisk it if you want. I don't. Let's check the next one. And that's great too. And we're going to stick this egg in the bowl. There we go. So far, so good. Alrighty. Now, we're also going to take one cup of fresh, and it's fresh, parsley. Now, if you want to make it really easy on yourself, I have one of those Quasinart or any mini chop. Put your parsley in there, let it whiz up for a little bit, and you'll get some beautiful chopped parsley. And so it's about a cup, and we're going to put the cup of chopped parsley in there as well. Then we have a quarter of a cup of minced garlic. I do the same thing in my little mini Quasinart, and I mince up a quarter of a cup of fresh garlic. There we go. Now I'm gonna use Thrive Life, it's two tablespoons of Thrive Life chopped onions. I'm gonna put that in here too. Because I'm only using two tablespoons, it is so much easier just to use my freeze-dried onions for that. Next, I'm going to use one cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Now, I know I've been saying it all along. Get the best Parmesan that you can afford. Put that inside. A cup of the Parmesan. And the last thing that we'll put in as a binder is a third of a cup of almond flour. And this really will act as a binder along with the eggs. So I'm just gonna stick a third of a cup of almond flour. This typically would not be traditional in an Italian meatball. You wouldn't be putting almond flour in here, but because I cannot use the breadcrumb, and typically I wouldn't even use breadcrumb, I'd soak some bread in some milk, drain the milk, and put the bread inside here. But that's not gonna work today, and it won't work for me. So we're gonna use what God gave us. These are tools, these are tools, your hands are tools. You're gonna get in there and you're gonna start mixing it up. If you have a KitchenAid and you wanna do it in a KitchenAid and mix it all up, you most certainly can do that as well. But right now, we're gonna use what God gave us. I'll be back, I'm going to mix this mixture. Well, it's incorporated. Doesn't that look fabulous? Oh my goodness. And it smells even better. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I bought some fresh mozzarella. Now this is unusual, but because I'm going to put a cube of mozzarella in each one of the meatballs. So when they fry them up, and I'm going to fry them, as they cook, the mozzarella will melt. Now this is fresh mozzarella. You can buy 
the sticks of mozzarella, if you know what I'm saying, like those individual sticks. But if you can find fresh mozzarella, there's nothing like it. So I'm just gonna put some of these squares over here. And basically it's a little, like a, let me see. I have to look, I have to measure my, basically it's like a little inch square, okay? I'm just gonna take another piece. And you don't have to be so accurate because who's looking but you, right? Who's gonna really see? If you don't tell, no one will know. So I'm gonna put some of those cubes in. And then I'm gonna take a scoop of the meat, just like this, in my hand. Now I'm not chintzy, so what I do is I take a piece of the cheese, I put that in, I fold it around the meatball. Make sure you fold it in, okay? And I have a plastic liner right here and I'm just gonna put my meatballs on here and line them up. Now, wasn't that really simple when you think about it? That's really simple. Now, what I'm gonna do with these meatballs, just so that you know, they're not gonna get consumed all in one sitting. That won't happen. But once you fry these, let them cool and then put them in Ziploc bags in serving sizes that you would like to have for your family. And you'll have them already done and you can reheat them in a microwave or you can reheat them right in the oven. Oh my goodness, they look so good. And the, just the mixture alone smells really, really good. There's nothing like fresh basil, and excuse me, fresh parsley and fresh garlic when you're making these, really, seriously. And then we're just gonna stuff that little piece of mozzarella, fresh mozzarella inside. You can imagine how wonderful they're gonna taste. And of course, you know we're gonna taste them. And oh, look how lovely, can you see them? There they are. They're getting lined up. So, you don't wanna watch me roll meatballs, I'm assuming. I'm gonna roll them all up and then we're gonna to get to frying. Okay, they're all rolled out. Don't they look absolutely dis delicious? They really do. They smell excellent. And now we're gonna start frying them off. On medium heat, I put some olive oil on the bottom of the pan. Do you see how beautifully green that olive oil is? I'm going to wait up till it gets up to temperature and then I'm gonna put the meatballs in. I stuck a small piece of meat inside the pan. And now we're gonna place the meatballs in, gently. Mm. Try to use olive oil. This is a really big pan, guys, just so that you know. And while the oil was heating up on a very low heat, I don't put high, high heat on olive oil, I was able to wash my dishes. So I'll finish these. Look how beautiful they look. Don't try to put so many on. We do have much more to fry, but this is perfect. You shouldn't have things on top of each other, especially when you're frying them, because the moisture will make them almost steam and we don't want them to steam. We want them to have a nice brown crust all around the meatball. Okay, so they've been cooking for about five minutes. And now I'm gonna, oh, yum. See how beautiful crusty brown that is? That's what we want. That's what we want on our meatballs. Oh, yes. We'll let these finish up and then I have another batch that I have to put in. But you know we're going to try one. And these two are always hanging around when they smell meatballs cooking. And there's the baby in the background. Buddy's waiting for a meatball too. Oh my goodness. Okay, while the rest of those are frying up, this has cooled. You can see the mozzarella was trying to be a little bit sneaky and come out. But we're going to cut it open. I'm gonna cut it open. Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> hello. Doesn't that look great? I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna taste it. It looks so good. And it smells, I could smell the garlic and, mm. oh, that smells really good. Mm. Oh my goodness. You must try these. 
These are excellent. You can see the nice stringy mozzarella inside. That's a little surprise. What I would tell you, if you're doing low carb, and I have to stay off the carbs, I had a horrendous summer. I'll be real. A bed of escarole with some garlic and olive oil drizzled on top. Two of these, absolutely delicious. You won't need to add any salt. Remember the Parmesan has salt and remember so does the mozzarella. If you notice, I put no salt in this. This is delicious. I hope you give it a try, guys. And until we see you again, because they're all standing around, be kind to one another, the heart. That's really all that matters. Bye-bye until the next time. Oh, they're good. Let me know if you try them. Woo! Mm-mm.